Hello everyone, it's PZDS in here, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably remember um, a while back, uh, this past semester actually, when I uploaded a video called the mod you do not want to do to your 3x3. Uh, you might remember that video, and uh, it didn't have very good results at all. And I think the reason might be because of the tools I used uh, to get the job done. I actually used the Dremel to do it. Uh, which, you like to do the whole thing, which, you know, unless you're really good with the Dremel, like, you, you know, you're really, uh, experienced with, but with using a Dremel, you've been using one for a really long time, uh, and you just really, you know, you're really good with one, uh, but, uh, you know, unless if you're like that, it's really not a good idea to use a Dremel, because, you know, you know, as soon as the sandpaper is, touches a surface, it's gonna start sanding it, even if you don't want it to, so... Yeah, um, that's the problem with, uh, the Dremel. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to be doing this, vi uh, this is going to be kind of a, a, a second take of that video, if you will. Uh, you know, me showing you how to do it with some different materials. Um, so yeah, basically we're not going to be using the Dremel, uh, to do the filing or the sanding. We're going to actually be using sandpaper. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, here are the materials you're going to need for this one. You're going to need a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Uh, well, wait, before we go ahead and get into that, if you want to see that video that I posted up, there'll be a link down there in the description, um, or wherever it might end up being in the future. Um, and you can also click on the on the Rubik's Cube right now, and you can go see it. Uh, but you're going to need a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Uh, I don't really matter what type. Uh, just, you know. You're also going to need uh, sandpaper. This is uh, for a... Uh, a grinder, an electric grinder, which was a mistake. Um, I didn't really know that, you know, there was really a difference, but this is, well, there really isn't a difference, just the size of sheets, but, um, you know, you're going to want sandpaper. I recommend nowhere, no, um, I recommend nothing less than 100 grit. Uh, I'm going to be using 100 grit as my rough, and, uh, 120 or 150 grit, which is this stuff here. I don't know where it's casing or it's packaging plant casing. Uh, you're gonna want to use. Uh, I'm gonna be using this as my fine, just in case I need to do a little bit of finishing off. Um, now you're gonna notice that the Dremel is still here. Uh, this is so that way we can actually, you know, do a little bit of finish work to it. You don't need a Dremel though, but you're gonna, if you do have a Dremel, you're probably gonna want to get it out, and you're also gonna want to be using the brush. If you have one, I don't. I'm pretty sure all Dremels come with one. Uh, and you're also gonna, you might want to get out your uh, little polishing wheel here. Um, so yeah. Um, and also, if there's any polishing residue on there, you're gonna want to get it off. And it's really easy to do. Just take it, dip it in some water, and turn it on. Uh, turn the Dremel on with it dipped in water. It's not gonna damage the Dremel. That'll get the that'll get the stuff right off. I promise you guys. Uh, also, you're gonna need eye protection. And, you know, something to put the sandpaper on. Now, this is a, a block that I bought, and I can't use it because that sandpaper is too small. However, I will, s if you do want to get one of these, I think this is like five bucks at um, some store we went to. And uh, I just picked it up because I thought it would be pretty handy. Um, if you want a good idea of how big it is, it's really about the same size as an iPhone. A little bit taller. Our iPod Touch iPhones are it's really about the same size so I'm pretty sure that's the best size representation you're gonna get um, so yeah anyway I will be showing you guys how you can use this though um, if you don't know how, to, how it's used um, if you don't have something like this you can use popsicle sticks or um, you know something just to act as a file because I really don't think it, uh, this stuff should be used in this state so yeah all right, so let me just show you real quickly what this is, uh, what this mod is going to do, uh, uh, what we're going to do with this mod. You know, as I've already mentioned in that previous video that I made, you, uh, I uh, linked you guys to earlier in this video. Um, you know, if you look at this, hold on. If you look at a corner piece, you'll see that it's kind of got sharp edges right there, and uh, our goal here is to round those down a little bit. See where it's kind of sharp. Now, in that other video, we rounded this whole thing. Yeah, well, we, I mean, that was a bad idea because it ruins the uh, structural integrity of the cube. We're just going to want to make those edges a little softer. 
Um, again, you can do this with a Dremel if you feel confident enough to do it. I'm not though, I don't think I need to because uh, that sounds like a stupid idea to me. I'm just going to be rounding down those edges that are, you can see they're quite sharp. And something obviously has to be catching on, catching on those things, so yeah. This is kind of something new that I think Rubik's is starting to do. I'll put like numbers on their pieces. And again, let me just show on this one again. Uh, and that scratching is from some uh, me metal shavings I put in here to make it a little smoother. So yeah. All right, so I just uh, just a couple minutes ago, uh, th just real quickly threw together this uh, little file here uh, because again I can't use this block because I di I don't have the correct kind of sandpaper because uh, again the sheets are too small uh, for that. But what I did was uh, using where is that stuff? Uh, where did I put this stuff? Oh yeah, using some cardboard that I got out of an old binder from school for school. This is very rigid plastic or pla uh, cardboard. If you have an old binder for from school or something, and uh, you know it's kind of done, it's kind of broken, like the rings aren't closing very well or something like that, and you've already replaced it with a new binder. Um, and if it has a coating around it, just take that coating off. You got yourself very hard cardboard, like very hard. If you have a plastic one like this, this one's also kind of bad. You can also use this plastic. I don't. I could have used it, but I just used the cardboard. And it's uh, as you see, what I got here. I got one side is uh, rough, and the other side is uh, fine. And um, yeah, it's uh, pretty very sturdy. It should work perfectly for our for our needs here. Um, and uh, yeah, and again, just letting you know, just in case you haven't, if if you've gotten. The uh, the rough side is 100 grit. The other uh, this side is uh, the fine side is 150 grit. So yeah. Um, so all right. So let's go ahead and actually get started with this mod. Finally, you will need your file uh, or your whatever you might have. Um, you know, also a fingernail file if you have one of those uh, also will work perfectly. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by taking this whole thing apart, uh, but keeping up with the corner pieces. Alright, so we've got all eight cor our corners here. Let me You'll notice those sharp spots there. We're just going to be making those a little rounder. Kind of like this. I'm going to get a little bit out of, a little further away so I can show this to you a little bit more comfortably. Simply using our file, let's go ahead and move these off the paper so we don't get dust on them. On them. Uh, starting with rough. Just, uh kind of rounding these uh, sharp edges on these corner pieces down. Just kind of rounding them off. <laughs> that right there. Hold on. Uh, that right there. Kind of aim for that. All right, you don't you're not wanting to shave off a lot of plastic, okay? So just keep doing that and then uh, yeah, we'll move on from there. There, I've just finished say, uh, rounding down these uh, sharp edges real well. Um, you're not trying to get them perfectly round. You're just trying to get them, you know, just so that way they're softer. So that way it looks a little smoother. Uh, you know, there's not like, you know, this super sudden, you know, change in direction. It, it, you know, it kind of, kind of, you know, uh, slowly uh, turns into it. Um, next, what you're probably going to want to do is just use uh, the fine sandpaper just to kind of, you know, Make it a little better, like so. Using the fine, just kind of, you know, rub it along. Let's be. Check it out. Yeah. All right. Now, after you're done doing that, uh, it's time to don your eye protection. Put it on. All right, and then take your Dremel. Or, if you're not, you know, um, going to be using a Dremel, use whatever cleaning means you have. Uh, I'm just going to use my Dremel though just to get it you know, nice and clean. Uh, you can use anything from like a you know, nice little sponge or something. <laughs> Maybe like a cloth or microfiber or whatever. Uh, you know what I'm, I'm just going to use a Dremel just because it's quicker. And uh, just kind of, I'm just going to start with the brush, just going to wipe it down a lot. It's just like so. I'm sorry that the tripod isn't cooperating.
it's kind of cleared up like that. So. Alright, perfect. It should be nice and clean. Pretty much, at least. So after you've done that, uh, you're going to want to take your buffer, or if you use another means of cleaning, you can just keep going. Uh, and then... Yeah, it feels nice and smooth now.